Okay, so one last thing before we proceed with the documentation. I forgot to mention about what if you want to combine this um, luminaire, the artificial luminaire or artificial light and also the daylighting calculation and what will be the effect or the lax value consideration. So let's go to the open office again and go to the plan view and go to the light scene and go to the daylighting calculation and add this create new luminaire group and then i will label this one as 60 by 60 and then i will click this fittings and i will press the add button here now it will be included in the daylighting calculation so for example we achieved the 500 lux here and if we combine the daylight i might lower this one into say for example um 30 percent or 40 percent it depends so to do that let's go and calculate it okay so now it's done and we achieved 870 lux for this combination of daylight and artificial light and of course you can easily think that this is too much and too bright for an office uh, lighting so what we're going to do is we will reduce the lever here up to 30 percent let's see and then refresh and by this one, you need a daylighting control to make sure that uh, during the, the 2 o'clock or the higher uh, light output from the sun going to that window, you can, uh, the daylighting control sends this daylight and then adjust the lumen output into something like, uh, like, like it's going to dim down. So when we say 30% of this luminaire, it only achieved 392 lux, so it's not enough. So let's say 50% and then refresh. Now it's 529 lux, so this is very good. So that means that during 2 p.m. Dubai time, this office can dim down up to 50% to have the 500 lux requirement. So it's less energy uh, consumption during the daytime that you're going to use the office and use this kind of fenestration or glass window so yes use this um, lighting calculation to your uh, daylighting calculation to your report and i'm sure your client will impress on this one because you're giving them the correct lighting solution plus energy saving plus daylighting and you know daylighting is very good for the health of the employees okay actually the most important part this one is the energy saving cost okay so yes i think this is okay now so we can proceed with the uh, documentation okay so see you again on the next lecture mm -hmm.